What's up guys, it's Alex Travel Bum, and today we're doing part two of the best places that I've discovered while traveling in the last five years. Before we start, I'd appreciate it if you click that subscribe button if you haven't already and like this video. It really helps me out. Alright, so my first one is the Chocolate Hills in the Philippines. We're here at Chocolate Hills, Bohol. So the Chocolate Hills are on the island of Bohol in the Philippines and it looks like this. There are over a thousand of these hills, these big mounds that look like mounds of chocolate. So I flew into the island of Bohol and I had to take a motorbike out for, I, I'm trying to remember, but I think it was about 45 minutes to get to this area. And it was kind of in the middle of nothing, but the ride in itself was awesome because we were just riding through the jungle for miles. And then you get to this viewpoint and you can see there's a 360 view of just thousands of these chocolate hills all around you. Olympic National Park. We're in Olympic National Park and now we're going to Hurricane Ridge. The view is getting better. So Olympic National Park is in Washington in the United States and it's probably my favorite national park, that or Death Valley. What makes Olympic really cool is it's huge and there are a ton of different areas within the park and they're all different. So you can have the beaches, the rainforest, you have Hurricane Ridge where you have a view of everything and it just changes so much and I spent about a week there going around the whole thing. This one is really typical and I'm sorry to say this but the Eiffel Tower. I don't really have to tell you much about the Eiffel Tower but just being there for the first time or even the second or third time is impressive. And what I like to do there is just go there for the day and grab a baguette and some salami and cheese and just eat the baguette under the Eiffel Tower. And then when you go there at night, they have a light show and there's a ton of people below the tower and they're all drinking and selling wine. And I like to pop a bottle of wine right there under the tower and just sit there and enjoy it. The next one is the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. So when I was on my van life trip, we took the van and we found the Bonneville Salt Flats, which are just miles and miles of flat salt land, and you can drive your car on it, and just look at this drone footage. It's one of the most amazing sights you're gonna see. There's just nothing. This next one is also not off the beaten path or anything, and everybody knows about it, but I finally got to Venice in Italy, and it was everything I expected, and there are a lot of crowds, there are a ton of tourists, and that really takes away some of its appeal. But besides that, it is just a city like no other. Walking along the canals, and you don't really have to do anything there except walk around and take in the beauty of this place. The next one, we're going to the Philippines, to Batad. Batad is near Banawe, and it's this little village inside of these rice terraces. So the unique thing about these rice terraces, the people live in the village right in the middle of the terraces. And so it's really in the middle of nowhere and you barely have electricity and there are only a few places that you can stay. But that's why this place is so charming. And this also, this was one of the best views I've ever seen. Look at how tall it goes and you could just hike around the terraces all day. Okay, the next one is Inlay Lake, Myanmar. So I had to take a tour to take this boat out on the lake, but we took it out there all day, and you see floating gardens and a ton of these little boats. Uh, it's, it's only at Inlay Lake in Myanmar where they use their legs to paddle somehow, and I'm not really sure how they do it, but you'll see everyone there, this is the way that they do it. And this place is just special. There's no place like it. All right, so the next one is maybe my favorite national park, if not Olympic National Park, it's Death Valley in California. And when I went there, I went there on the hottest day of the year. It was probably 120. It is about 120 degrees out here. It's probably more at this spot. And so nobody else is out here but me. <laughs> and it was hard to even leave the van, but just driving through this place where everything is dead, just going through the desert, the Devil's Golf Course, where I've never seen anything like this, artist's palette, and there's so many things to look at, and it's great just spending a few days here out in the middle of nothing, where everything is dead. 
All right, so I don't want to make this too long, so that is part two of some of the best places that I've seen in five years of travel. If you want a part three, I do have a few more. Uh, let me know in the comments below and let me know what are some of the best places that you've seen on your travels and I'm gonna add it to my list if I haven't been there. I'll see you in the next video.